Oh. And Leah, a very upset Colleen Crowley and a Johnny Manziel doing his best to control the situation. On dashcam video, Johnny Manziel tells officers how the event spiraled out of control last Monday night after drinks downtown with his girlfriend Colleen Crowley. On the video, you hear Manziel tell officers how he told Crowley he wanted to pick up a buddy that didn't sit well with her. We got into a little bit of hate. You want to hang out with him so you can go see some other girl. This is this. And this is wait, this is between you. Her saying this and me. You okay. want to go see some other girls. That's why you want to hang out with him. Blah blah okay. blah blah blah. Crowley minutes earlier relayed her version of events to the officer. What happened today? You guys are obviously in this car. He's like, uh, I don't know. He hit me a couple of times. Why you were in the car? Yeah. The police report noted the only visible injuries to Crowley were an abrasion wound to her left forearm, consistent with Manziel's story that he grabbed her to keep her from trying to jump out of the car, which prompted a 911 call from a passerby to police. Listen as Manziel pleads in the background. Oh, baby, please! It appears that the girl might be intoxicated. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry, please. At one point, Brown's linebacker, Paul Kruger, just happened by, which upset Crowley. He doesn't need it. He has nothing to do with it. Okay, I, okay, just, just give me a no, second. No, it's not fair. Would you like, just, he needs to go. He would leave, but not before offering police his opinion of Manziel's girlfriend. She's not the right one he should be with, I'll tell you that much. Well, the couple pulled over initially after Crowley threw the quarterback's wallet from the moving car. They were eventually allowed to leave the scene together. On your side, live in the newsroom, John Kasich, News Channel 5. Yeah, pretty interesting comments in there. All right, John, thank you.